Good evening, YouTubers. Gypsy Patriot Channel here. Have y'all ever seen an elephant here plant? elephant ear plant I have ever seen in my life. I don't know if y'all can see the size of this one leaf. I can't get the camera far enough out here. That thing is huge. Huge, folks. actually put that out there, if they actually publicize, like they're supposed to with the news, what was going on, if they heard Trump talk for himself, he'd win him over all by himself. Nobody would have to speak for him but himself, but they won't even let him represent himself. They're telling people what to think, and they're putting out a couple little crappy clips to make it look like he's the worst person possible, and they're pushing their little agenda, and they're willing to lie to do it. It doesn't matter. They're doing it without proof now. They're so panicked and desperate to get him out of there. It's ridiculous. So... I really think that they, they were actually instituted to do exactly what they're doing. And they're public, dar they're media darlings. So they've got to cover this. So the agenda's right there in their face, and now they're covering it, and they're, they're covering the most extreme points. It, and, and they're all obviously going to go down for what they're doing wrong, right? Doesn't everybody see that? But, it's, but we're covering it, and we're actually talking about it, and we're actually listening to what Trump has to say in return. And now he's toughening up the language because it's go time. Yeah, right there, guys. I'm, 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 I'm braving, and braving, <laughs> I'm, I'm braver now than I was before to come out and talk about this stuff, because I didn't think it'd go very far, and something bad had happened to me if I actually started speaking the truth in public, and I couldn't live that way as an American, but I have been, as a man on oath that I'll continue to be, so I'm trying to speak out, so I'm doing it. Yeah, I thought I wouldn't get emotional, but I'll keep going this time. All right, so I think these girls are plants, and I think they're actually part of the plan, and I think they're exposing this agenda just like they're supposed to be, um, and that's what's going to happen. You're going to see this in the public eye, and they're using this for the optics. How important are optics? Very important. Ooh, there's some good light. All right, I'm going to screw it up. So, optics are very important, and... They have created this in the plan to put the optics right where they needed to be. So look at it through that lens and see if it doesn't make sense. Look at it through your lens. Reconcile. Reconcile is a good word. It means think about it. That's all we got to do. Think about it. Share our thoughts and opinions. And we're not trying to convince the other people. We're giving the other people something to think about, something to consider. And we're not mocking what they have to say. Listen to what they have to say. 
I do. Uh, I may be inherently have a strong opinion opposed to what they're trying to say. But in those moments right there is when, when they're talking, I shut up and listen. They might have something to convince me, and I, and I really have to know in my heart if what they have to say, I have an answer for. If I don't have an answer for it, I tell them, I, hey, good point. I'll have to look that up. And, and I do. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I blow it off. Sometimes they blow my mind. Lately, that hasn't been too often. Um, so, anyways, that is my opinion of, of these freshman congresswomen and all the hullabaloo in the press is doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. It's hullabaloo in the press. And guess what? Trump's involved with that and a specific thing is being pushed. And I think that's by design, and by a good design, not the bad one that you're all all worried about. Um, <laughs> the, the, uh, the tweet that he trolled him with in the first place, he never said, go back to where you came from. They said, go back to where you came from. What he said was, look, he didn't name names. <laughs> he certainly didn't name a number. He said it was very interesting to see freshman congresswomen that came from countries that had broken systems telling him how to run his country and being offensive about it. And he said if they're so bent out of shape about that, they should fix those broken systems in those countries and come back and tell him how to do it here. Then they'd have some, you know, something to, to speak from. And uh, uh, that, that was how I took it, is, is you know, go, go fix your system and come back and show me how you did that before you tell me how to fix a country that's got it together a lot better than your country. Uh, what are you talking about? We got it together, and he was pretty strong on that point. Um, but that was in response to them attacking him, and he was actually, I, no, they weren't attacking him, he was actually defending Pelosi, and, and then he brought that to light. Beautiful, beautiful ploy. We all bought it. Hell, we bought it. We all got a little emotional, upset about it. Step back and look at that. Look at it through a different lens. Hey, girls. You were doing a beautiful job of ignoring me. I, I just wanted to thank you for that. Yeah, the peanut gallery. Anyways, I might talk about this stuff a little too much. But uh, now I'm talking to y'all about it, so I got an outlet. Maybe they'll love me more. Anyways, y'all, uh, freshman congresswomen, that's my opinion. Um, we could talk more about it, but hell, we all got short attention spans. I'm going to cut it loose for now. Y'all enjoy it. Hey, that is a big elephant ear plant. Monster. Love you guys.